Alright everyone and welcome back to another episode of Undertale. Last episode we finally defeated Metaton. And uh, yeah, we are very close. The elevator to the castle. I just wanted to go back and check on a couple of things because this stands we are currently slightly low on a few resources. Let me just go that way. And yes, we do care for going to the fall. A mushroom every day. Good words. Hi. Right? Then I know you're listening to me. Interesting. Here we go, we are at Waterfall. Again, sometime in trouble. I just hope he stays here for a while. As a friend. See if he actually has it. 10 HP. 18 HP. Glasses. Okay. Let's figure out. Ah, yeah. Here we go. Look, acres east, Butland, and somewhere is the Penny Village. I did check. This door is locked. I'm guessing that's where you get the E from your sisters. Here we go for Pyrus. Oh ho, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Stand behind him. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Is that a bone? Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. I I don't think we are. Why don't you two come in? Okay, Papyrus is excited. Oh, she's got a big sword. You're on that. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Oh, uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. Okay. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Oopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. Ah. Uh, hello there, Undyne. So, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? You humiliate me even further? Is that it? No, it's not. Why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes. Really? How delightful, I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? You weren't my house guest. I'd be here right now. You are the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. She thinks I can't be friends with you. <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. You're not just going to be friends. You're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. It's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat?
I can't believe he left through the window like that. No, he, he nails the landing. One time, Alphys and came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. Is it Manhattan? The sink is a teacup in the shape of a This oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. Ah, it's fire magic here. This silver window has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Nice. Perfect. I had cold food. So Alf is fixed up my food, so it heats up food instead. What fridge? The world's greatest invention. Human suck. But the history? I the rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? No one really? If you liar. I've read Alphys' human history book collection. I know all about your giant swords, your colossal alien fighting robots, your supernatural princesses. Hey, there's no way you're gonna fool me. Oh yeah. Alphys has really set everyone on for a Sit down and progress, yes, we shall. Comfortable. I'll get you something to drink. <clears throat> All set, what would you like? Holy mother of god. Hey, don't get up. You're the guest, sit down and enjoy yourself. <clears throat> Well, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear! Aim with the arrows and the side Sugar okay, goes in tea. So that's sticky, I love it. What chocolate? Tea box. Blatantly correct choice. Tea, huh? Coming right up. I'll take a moment for the water to boil. <laughs> okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, God. It's not that hot, just drink it already. Take a sip of the tea. It's burning. Other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove that I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgard. Emphasis on trying. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes. From then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. Now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So, I'm the one who gets to train dogs to fight. Like, um, papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if... I can't ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. Just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. It's actually pretty freaking tough. Just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. he get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? 
So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. That's sweet. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Iris, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. Oh no, the boss music again. That's right. Nothing has brought Pyrus and I close like cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become close and then you can imagine. <laughs> right, you're gonna be best friends. Oh my god. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. Strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. Knock over it to me. Yeah. The hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. <laughs> oh wow, that's... <laughs> uh, we'll just grab this in the bowl later. For now... Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, the noodles. No main noodles are the best. I just buy store brand. They are the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, just put them in the pot. How do you put them? Carefully. Place the noodles in one at a time. They clang against the empty pot. Nice. Alright. Then stand to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do. Go harder. Harder? Harder! Oh, oh god. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn it into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold. Yeah, that's way too hot. That's already way too hot. Wait, that's too... Uh-oh. Ah. Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Ah. Uh. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. If we can't be friends, it's okay. Because if we are not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated, my house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch with all of them both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Man, so let me make a first attack. Shall fake attack. You pretend to swing at I and die with all your might. What just happened there? What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Eh, you know what? Hmm. I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick. But the way you hit me right now, it, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? I'll have to hang out again another time. But, um, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, 
I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, go by Snowden, no, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we are in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, that was nice. Sounds like only fire lives here now. Yeah, that's good. We have uh, caught up with an old friend. Right, yes. I'll head up to Snowden. Oh wow, that's running on water. The angels is coming. Angel is coming, sorry. E come again sometime. Chill. In a few moments. Have some neighbors. Hiya, oh yeah, you look like you had a great sleep. It's incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Yeah, here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Okay, that's neat. And we have 30 HP now. <laughs> We somehow have 30 out of 20 HP. I'm money back, so that's good. But now, we'll get back. Where uh, we potentially have a big fight coming up. Yep, I'm back. Watch limits. Interesting. He talks goodbye. Wow, room service. Got my cinnamon bun. Yes, we do. Slide in the cinnamon bun under the table, then we slide it under the door. Huh? That's just the way I want it. Here's the tip. Got 99 gold. Oh, wow. You hear a shuffling. Seems like you could put something under the door. Right, but you didn't have anything there. What the last place? Not from the inside. That was technically our room. But... Oh, this one wanted CT. Never coming across CT. Oh, I know who had CT. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's a long trip. I don't think we're gonna worry about that right now. Alright, here we go. Time to get started. Oh no, that's literally where I came. The waiter is in use. Interesting. Oh, that looks like a cityscape. I think that is a cityscape. That's sort of the point. Oh, wasting.
in the ruins. What is going on here? A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out. and put it on your phone's keychain. The trophy. Number one knows nuzzle jams later. As goes journal, all the current page says it's a nice day today. Ink is still almost wet. It's a king-sized bed. That's it, after all. Macaroni out of a flower for King Dad. It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Hot straw that robes button-up shirts. And a pink-handed sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. Lock it inside the box. Will you take it? I'll leave it. There's a one dagger inside the box. Take it. What a comfortable bed. Lay down here. You might not ever get up. Okay. We're putting it. The golden. It's a drawing of the golden. The family photograph. Everyone's smiling. A lot of striped shirts in here. Twin size bed. Dusty toys. Azrael, the king's son, heard the humans call. He brought the human back to the castle. Okay, what? Hot shape box. Am I take it? Equip the login. Thank you. It gives me a good amount of defense. Okay, I'll take it. Don't really care for the Oh, well, this is Toriel's house, isn't it? Okay. It's a great reading chair. It doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Poles are still warm. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. Seems like gardens. Oh, most of them. Over time, Nazriel and the human became like siblings. The king and the queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. I don't like where the story is going. The trash can. Full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Took the key and put it on your phone's kitchen. The laptop is very clean. Someone must use fire magic. It's a note. Howdy. I'll be yourself to anything you want. There is some white fur stuck in fridge is full of unopened containers of snail. Oh. You unlocked the chain. There's an old calendar from the end of 201. A date is circled on it. Oh, I forgot these guys' names. Then, one day, 
The human became very ill. Oh, the next one. The sick human had only one request. To see the flies from the village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day? The next day. The human died. Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul and transformed into a being of incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier and carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the human. Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But Azrael did not fight back. Touching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. But then our souls peak and shatter that barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will give us hope. Who let us go will save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Oh, that's that's an interesting elevator. Here we go. Oh. You finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you have earned. What's the XP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution a way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on it. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence, a way of measuring someone's capacity. 
The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, but you never gain any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you are completely innocent. It's that you get a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you face, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gain love, but you gain love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I'd have thrown the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. As long as you hold on. And so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. So just before we call it for this episode, uh, we should see where this leads us. Hmm. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. I said. It's empty. Okay, that's creepy. Unfortunately, there's no jump in this game. I can't see the others. Oh, are these all the souls of... Oh, these are the souls of everyone who's come to the game. Okay. Well, take a peek. Dum -de -dum. Oh, someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. How can I? Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it's, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flies are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do? When you're ready, come into the next room. Ah, uh, well then, I think that is gonna do it for this episode. Just another throne covered by a white sheet. I think a fight will take place next episode. So I guess guys, uh, that's gonna do it for now, I'll catch you in the next one where we might finally fight Asgore. Have a look, see you in the next.